Welcome to Corn Story Time. My name is Clara, and today we are reading The Berenstain Bears Visit the Dentist. Oh, visit. The Berenstain Bears Visit the Dentist. The Berenstain Bears Visit the Dentist. One morning, Sister Bear woke up in the same old bed, in the same old pajamas, and yawned the same old yawn. But something was different. I have a loof tooth, she told Brother Bear. Well, push it back and forth with your tongue, and maybe it'll come out, yawned Brother, as he turned over to go back to sleep. Then what? asked his sister. Butter had told her about the tooth fairy, and she wanted to hear it again. Then put it under your pillow, and the tooth fairy will take it away and leave a new coin in its place. But Brother added, But, Brother added, Be sure to tell Mama. About it first. Later at breakfast, when Mama was reminding Brother that he had a dentist appointment after school, he noticed that Sister was eating funny. She noticed that Sister was eating funny. She had a loose tooth. Brother explained, "One." When it comes out, said Sister, wiggling it with her tongue. I'm gonna, going to put it under my pillow for the tooth fairy. If she, do, if she doesn't wiggle it out, she can, she can come to the dentist with us, and he can yank it out. Never mind. That kind of talk," said Mama. "Doctor Bearson doesn't yank. He's very gentle and very careful." School bus, school bus. I'll get it out myself. The monkey, sister shouted, as Butter hopped onto the big yellow school bus. But sister was still wiggling her loose tooth with her tongue when she and mom met brother after school and went to the dentist. Doctor Bearson, dentist. It still still stuck, she said, showing Doctor Bearson her loose tooth. Well, said the dentist, I'll have a look. At it after I examine Brother's teeth, you can stand on this stool and watch if that's all right with Brother. Sure," said Brother as he climbed into the special cup seat in the big dentist chair. She can watch me and see how it's done. Brother had been to the dentist before, and he couldn't help showing off just a little. Sister watched as Doctor Bearson checked each one of Brother's teeth with a special little tool. How do you see the bats? She asked. Asked. With this little mirror, said the dentist. Here, have a look. Wow! Said Sister, looking into Brother's bear's mouth. It looks like a cave, a cave with a tongue. Well, Doctor Bearson checked Butter Bear's teeth. Sister looked at the other tools on his work tray. There were little picks, a scraper, a tamper, and oh, a yanker. She had become so interested that she had forgotten all about her loose tooth. She went to work, wiggling again. She wiggled hard, but it still was stuck. But it was still stuck. There are, are 
there were some of interesting dentist things. There were some other interesting dentist things: a water squirter for rinsing, a air squirter for drying. And a little drill on the end of a big hinge arm for cleaning out a cavity. And brother had a cavity. It's just a tiny one," said Doctor Bearson, "and the last of your baby molars. But it's best to fill it to keep it from getting bigger. Look at it. Hmm." Said Butter bravely. I'm glad it's not me," thought Sister, still wiggling. After Doctor Bearson cleaned out the cavity, he rinsed it with water, with the water squirter, and dried it with the air squirter. Then he mixed up some filling cement and filled it. And gently tamped the filling down with, down and scraped it smooth. A final rinse and brother jumped down, as good as new. Your turn, he said. Bravely, sister climbed up into the cup seat, still wiggling. But that loose tube didn't, just didn't seem to want to come out. Hmm," said the dentist, looking at the tooth. "Oop!" said Sister, waiting for him to reach for those big fingers. But while she waited, Doctor Bearson gripped the tooth with a piece of gauze and gave it a tug. And out it came. Sister looked at the tooth. Looked at the tooth. It was very tiny. Doctor Bearson gave it to her to keep. Now it was her turn to hop down as good as new. Don't I get a lollipop or something for being good? She asked brother. You got a balloon, he said. Lollipops aren't good for your teeth. The next morning, sister plunged her hand under the, her pillow and found a shiny dime where the tooth had been. The tooth fairy came. She told brother, "I told you she would." He yawned. Then she ran in, into the next room to show mama her shiny new dime. Thank you for reading with me. Bye. Question of the day: Have you ever been to the dentist before? Thank you for watching. Bye.